I can't wait to show you how to straighten your cutting plates as well as get all those little paper bits out of your plates. And then if you stay till the end, I'll show you how you can prevent having to do this in the future. Let's get to it. Today we are going to work on some of our cutting plates. I have mine here. This is the one I used to cut and it's pretty warped. I do flip it over and I'll show you what I do to keep them fairly flat. This, these have been cut multiple times. I do have a trick that I've started using and I will show you what that looks like as well. And you can see what's this one. If I push it down, it goes down pretty far. So I'm going to put these to the side. So just taking a pan, I also have a pot of boiling water and it just turned off as I'm working it on this. But you can see it's boiling. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that boiling water over here and I'm going to pour it onto my plate and we'll get all the little bits out. And I am going to pour some of this boiling water into here. And you want to make sure that, that it has an air pocket. We're going to make sure that air pocket Disappears. Oh, it disappeared all on its own. And then I'm going to put something heavy on it to keep it nice and flat. And I'm just going to leave that on there for a couple of minutes. And then while I'm doing that one, since I have such a big pan, I'm going to use my other plate. This on here. You want to put the bowed part up. And I've done this before. You don't want to put the bowed plate. And I do have a, a, a bubble in this one. You definitely don't want a bubble. We'll bow the plate in a different direction that you want. And then you just give these a couple of minutes. If you have a lot of little bits like I have in my cutting plate, then you'll want to maybe leave it in here for just a few more seconds or do it a second time. I've done it a second time before and that has worked well. But you don't have to do this very often. If you use one plate, as your cutting plate and as you saw I had one plate that was significantly more cut than my other plate. If you use that constantly as your cutting plate and you just flip it when it gets a little bowed then you won't have a problem with it not contacting your main plate either. So I would suggest you use one as a cutting plate, one as a top plate. And I didn't do that for a while, but once I learned it, you're supposed to buy new plates to start out that process. I just use my existing plates, but I had done this process and it seems much, much better. So my plates are not as warped as they used to be. So I'm going to take these plates out with my little, see how they're doing. This one still has a little bit of. And then you just lay it on a flat surface. Keep this on there. This one still has a few of the bits in it, but it's getting a lot of them out. Some of these I might be able to just rinse off and get more of them out. Those are the little pieces of paper. Very, very carefully. Last plate in here. And again, this water is boiling. And make sure it covers all of it. it. Has a big bubble underneath it. We'll get the bubble out from underneath it. And then we will put something on top of it. And there we go. And it just takes a minute or two. And these are just some ceramic cups. They're not terribly heavy, but they're the heaviest cups I have. I thought they would work really well.
I'm going to bring this one back over just because it's nice and flat. You can see there's no give anywhere on it, but I do have some more of these little bits in here, and this is a good way to get the bits out too. So wait till my water boils. This place is perfectly straight now. Air bubbles in that one. So just make sure that there's no air bubbles underneath because that will cause it to bow as well. And then I can already see more sediment at the bottom of my pan here where the bits are coming off of my plate. And that's why I did this one a second time because that's what I wanted to get off was the little paper bits. A little bit, we can get some more paper bits off. There's quite a bit in the bottom, so that's a good sign. And then this one. And that's all you do. So this is my original one. And that is pretty darn straight. I want it cooled off nicely. And if I press this, this out of the way. This has got a lot of floating bits in it. So lots of pieces of paper, and that's nice to get out as well. Oops, I'm gonna get some paper bits all over here. <laughs> but let's see how we did. So I showed you this one. And as you can see, if I push it on here, there's no give whatsoever. And on this side either. So it's actually completely touching the black mat here. These should be cool now. You can see there's still bits coming off all onto my black mat. But this is also very, very straight. So you can't see anything in between these two. And if I push this down, there is no give just a lot of little pieces of paper coming off, which is good. So I'll probably rinse that a few times and get the rest of these bits off. But you can see all the bits there on my uh, black mat. That is great because that's really what I wanted to get out of there. So the trick with keeping these nice and straight is to keep your cutting plate, which is the one that has all the cuts in it, keep this cutting plate on the bottom always and then you put you know your top plate always goes on top and then if this starts to have a little bit of give if when it's flat if it has a little bit of give you just flip it over so that's you're constantly rotating this so that it stays nice and flat and that's why I really don't have a problem with this anymore I do it more to get the little bits out and that will help your plates stay nice and straight I hope you found this quick video helpful and if you would, please click the like button to let me know you did. And then if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And that way you can see when I put out new content about either card crafting, RV travel, time with my dogs, or other things I'm doing in my semi-retirement. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.